Building a combination manual motor starter using Fuji components offered by Automation Direct. I'm Carrie Scheiber and this is Part 4, Wiring the Starter. One of the most important aspects of wiring the motor starter is using the correct type and size of wire. Incorrect wire usage can result in a dangerous situation which could cause serious damage to equipment or personnel. There are several factors that must be taken into consideration for selecting the correct wire. The insulation type, the ambient temperature, and the number of conductors are a few of them. It is recommended that the NEC codebook be used as a reference tool to assist in your selection. NEC Table 310.16 is commonly used to determine the allowable current of not more than three single insulated conductors. It provides a minimum safe wire gauge under specific listed conditions. For wiring the 110 volt AC coil, we will use typical control wire, which is a standard 16 gauge THHN wire. For wiring the contactor, we will assume the following conditions. An ambient temperature of 30 degrees C, no more than three conductors in conduit or raceway, and a dry environment. The max current rating for the wire is based on the motor full load amps. The wire should be rated at 125% of the motor full load amps, so 40 amps multiplied by 1.25 equals 50 amps. Using NEC Table 310.16, we can determine that the type THHN wire with copper conductors rated at 90 degrees C in raceway or cable and a max current of 50 amps requires an 8 gauge wire. You are now ready to make your connections.